What's up, Auto 3 Garage? And if you're tuning in, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit a like uh, before you continue. But as you can see, uh, the Chevy Tahoe, the O3, which I'm going to start off with because this was the first vehicle I had in my possession. Um, as you can see, it's not in the tip top uh, position and stuff, but I want to change that. Um, but I'm on the road right now. Uh, when I get back home, What's up, guys? Man, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, like I said, when I got back home, I'm uh, gonna go over this Tahoe. This is my Chevy uh, Tahoe uh, 03. This was given back when I was in high school, about 2018 or 17. My mom, she had it. She was whipping it and stuff, and then it was uh, given to me. Uh, I love the truck ever since and stuff. I love the styling of it and everything. And also been putting my own taste into it, but time has found its place and i want to restore this truck or you know make it look better than what it is right now so as you can see i painted this gold this had it been like a year or two ago i painted it gold uh, i end up replacing the knock sensors uh gaskets head gaskets and all that little stuff uh following another year i end up well following this year i end up adding these um long tube headers and everything like that that's all i pretty much did add a little tune on there but it did something i'm not gonna lie and also i end up fixing the vacuum uh lines uh that i had uh, issues with because i remember when i took it on a long trip like the antliner and stuff it's like it was having a hard time like um uh, how could i explain it i can't really explain it but it, it's, it's, this truck seemed like it been having a hard time to keep up uh, its pace while, you know, accelerating or anything like that. But anyway, once I fix that vacuum issue, the truck been work, uh, running. All right. <clears throat> Fine. I might be all over the place with this because it's so much I've done. But so far, I got this uh, accumulator or dryer uh, that's for the AC system uh, in the back of the truck. But I never had got the compressor and stuff, which I'm planning on getting. So I want to do like a compressor change out on here, which you will see in the near future and all that. And I just want to like probably repaint all this, probably add a different uh, radiator, uh, probably change up the fan set up to electronic instead of the mechanical. Uh, so it's, it's a lot that I want to do, probably add a second battery up front. So we had to start here. You know, this is the V8 and all that. Uh, this is where that noise be coming uh, out the tailpipe from. Okay, guys, then we make our way into the inside, which I love. Uh, this truck have about uh, 300,000 miles. Um, as you can see, you can't see, cause I don't have my camera on me. But as you can see, I got a radio missing. Uh, I gotta get a new radio. I know two people will say they will hook me up uh doing it for free and i could just learn from now on how to do it probably add some uh tweeters on the side and on that side i need to get some air vent covers i most definitely need to change these seats out but i just been uh prolonging the time on it and i wanted to redo the doors like uh painting them over um but uh one feature i really like is these white leds are which are bright at night and stuff and I like it. Same with the back seat. Uh, Want to probably redo that or find like a new set. And all. Uh, but overall, the truck is not bad. The truck is very reliable. I got the change on reflectors back there, as you can see. But, you know, the truck showing age and stuff, as you can see. 
Um, so it's, it's gonna be time for a new refresher and all that, uh, which I am excited for and all that. But I've been around people who have like classic cars and stuff and they be like sitting and all that. And it'd be some time that, you know, they have other stuff going on and stuff. They don't have time, you know, redoing stuff uh, at a, I guess, a certain moment. And that's just how I am right now. Uh, I really want to um, redo this truck. So that's what you all want to see on the channel. But it's the inside. Not too crazy. I just want to uh, add a new radio, get a new uh, little base dumping in here, paint the doors, get like this black and gray tone. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Redo this and all that. So, yeah, so let's just go outside. All right, so on the outside, back up front, which we're gonna make our way back around. I wanna change these lights. Uh, these are the halos. They got the halo rings. I love them and stuff. I might keep them, but I seen the other one where they have like an LED strip that's like uh, curved a little bit, but it's get like a little meaner look. I'm thinking about putting some LED pod lights down in here. I had some yellow fall lights but they are gone you know how you think it's something going to fall out and it end up falling out yeah that's what happened so that's it for the front i want to add a bush guard on here repaint all this little stuff right here and i added these wheels about a year or two ago uh the whole set cost about like 19. Uh, as you can see probably need to rotate these tires but um i got a long two headers right there as you can see that's what was recently put in um make a huge little difference but anyway the brakes fairly new they've been changed like a year or so ago they haven't been uh that bad or anything like that but those tires i ended up adding this uh color right here uh for a second tone i want to redo that redo these door handles um and all that and this bushwhacker kit which amazed me this bushwhacker kit right here was 400 bucks so you got a piece right here and then you got a separate piece right there and then you got your whole piece right here but these need to be repainted i painted with spray can before but as you can see they have not turned out good so i really really take my time to do this same with these mirrors i want to take my time to do this and all that focus on one thing at a time and that's pretty much it i did uh just add something on the front suspension i just changed the front shocks uh probably need to do the backs the backs wasn't bad as last time but i'm gonna end up changing them and all that overall the truck is not bad it's really not it look good it really look good i mean it's an old truck what do you expect but i want to you know have it more modern and stuff which it will be but man she looked good uh i also had got the window tent right here got the window tent all around window tent window tent all around so so for the two front windows i couldn't do it during this time because this window wasn't working so i had to replace the window regulator on that but now i can do it that's pretty much it with this tahoe so next video with the Tahoe, man, we're going to take her apart. Not necessarily, but we're going to clean her up and then we're going to see where we want to start at. Like I said, I got three projects on my hand and stuff. So I'm going to be like going back and forth on what I need to do. It's a little minor stuff I need to get done. Uh, I need to figure out this uh, tail light. It breaks and all that work. I need to figure it out. Uh, I want to clean this up. I want to clean this up most definitely. Um, Probably fix the Dean and probably think about doing the doors all stuff like that. That's pretty much it, y'all. Just stay tuned, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, we're gonna get this Tahoe together. It is together, it's running and stuff. Um, we do have a misfire though, but I think it's due to like these spark plug wires because every time I don't know how many spark plug wires I had to change, I literally changed 80 of these, 90 of these. Cause they would deteriorate so bad cause all that heat and stuff. Um, and I used uh, some foil, like the, that protect against like heat to like a certain position. That's like resistance all the way like the four 
thousand degrees and for some odd reason that's still not doing no good which is kind of weird to me but anyway i want to properly do these which they are but it's still deteriorating and i needed to go up here check these ignition coils uh too uh but overall man this is not bad it's not bad at all but hey, uh, y'all peace out. Uh, next video, we're going to clean out this uh, Tahoe. Stay tuned for the other videos. Um, probably either talk about the Mercedes or the Porsche next or what that need to be done. But more likely, this truck going to need more work, I feel like. I feel like the Porsche and the Tahoe is like neck and neck, which is a good thing. I love cars that you can work on, honestly. So let's close this hood. But anyway, she is not bad. She is not bad at all. what's up what's up what's up if you made it this far at the end of the video i really appreciate you thank you make sure to leave a like and uh leave a sub uh, it's really appreciated um we got more to come on this tahoe like i said next video probably just gonna clean it out and i don't know where i want to begin that so um i guess just let me know where should i begin uh but like i said it's an old pretty truck um i love it and stuff uh, i really appreciate it and the thing sounds so good and amazing. Like, I always get good compliments on it and stuff. But like I said, I just wanna um, have this truck, you know, modern in a way. Um, just just up to date, basically. You know, changing the seats. Uh, just something. I want to do like a Cadillac um, interior swap because, you know, Cadillac, and uh the gmc's and all that they all like the same and stuff um so everything needs to be swapped over and stuff like that but we don't know but i don't want to hold uh y'all up but i really appreciate y'all once again for watching the video um and i'm glad to show y'all the insides of the um tahoe and what it need to be done and i think bulletproof now that thing's still gonna run no matter what she's still running that's what i love about gm um and never let me down so i seen stories and stuff but me personally never let me down i had like little few issues like water pump issue uh that's pretty much it that's a lot of experience no training uh issue fingers crossed uh nothing too catastrophic like i said right now i'm having like a little misfire and stuff i'm gonna go over all that in the next video so peace out man be safe